Hi everyone. So today we're going to be making the sunshine crossbody bag from Bagstock Designs. It is a beginner pattern and it is a lot of fun to make. Okay, so first of all, the best thing about this pattern is that it is free on bagstockdesigns.com. I will put a link to it in the comments, but everybody loves something free, right? Well, it is a beginner pattern and it measures at about 10 and a half inches wide, seven and a half inches high, and three inches in diameter. It is, like I said, a beginner pattern. You'll learn a lot of skills that will help you in patterns that get to be more intermediate and advanced. And it comes together pretty quickly. It is, it doesn't have a lot of pieces to cut out, which also makes it come together pretty fast. So let's take a look at the components to the bag. So first, you have the crossbody strap option. This bag is small enough that it would work well as just a clutch too, but if you would like doing the crossbody, you have the instructions to do that. And then for the connector tabs, there are two options, the ones putting them on the top like I did or at the side if you would prefer. So you also have this front zipper pocket and then you have the top closure, which is nice because it will keep all the stuff inside your bag nice and safe. And then when you open up the bag, you also have an interior zipper as well. There you go. And that pretty much makes up all the different components of the bag. There is plenty of space in here um, to store things. It is a really cute bag. Now, if you wanted to add more storage onto the bag, you could do another zipper pocket on the back. You would just cut out the pieces for the front again and don't um, cut out the back panel and just follow the same instructions and make two panels of the front. You could also just go ahead and add another zipper pocket onto the other side of the interior bag if you want more space. All right, so let's jump in and start making this bag. Okay, so I have all my pieces cut and prepped to make the sunshine crossbody pouch. I am going to make this into a crossbody. It also works well as just like a, um, a clutch or something like that. It is a really cute pattern to put together. It's a lot of fun with the accents to do different combinations. So I have everything cut and prepped. So we're just gonna jump into making this bag. It is a free pattern from bagstockdesigns.com. So definitely go grab this pattern to make. It is a really fun beginner project. So I'm gonna start walking you through making this pouch. Okay, so here's what we're gonna work on first. We're gonna take the exterior side panel B and side panel A, and we're gonna sew them onto the exterior back center panel first. So we're gonna sew each side respectfully onto the back and then open it and top stitch down the vinyl part. So that's what we're gonna do for that. And then I'm gonna apply some double-sided tape onto my my strap connectors for the crossbody and for the cross spot the longer crossbody strap so i just mark the center of these i need to get some scissors that are non-stick so um i marked the center and then we're just going to bring the raw edges into the center on both sides and top stitch down each side and once i brought these in to the center and top stitch on the side we're going to put the rectangle rings on both of those so we're just going to work on getting all of this prepped i also want to show you i got the zipper end prepped for the main bag portion you do the same thing like with these mark the center bring the ends in and then you just clamp it around the end of the zipper so a few things that are easy to prep and get out of the way right at the start
have a lot of pieces prepped. We have the crossbody strap completely finished, which is nice to have that out of the way. I may add some rivets on to the strap later. We have our connectors finished. We prepped the exterior zipper and the only thing you need to do is trim the zipper tab down to size. So that is all finished. We can set that aside. And then we have the back panel finished and you may need to trim that down as it states in the pattern. So now we're gonna work on the front of the bag. And so what the pieces that we need are the um, front exterior zipper pocket zipper. We need our front bottom panel and top panel. And we'll also need our um, zipper pocket lining for the exterior of the bag. You may want to go ahead and already have your side panels on hand, the last two for the front, because after we get this all prepped, um, it's just like the back side we're attaching these, so you might as well do those all at once. So what you'll want to do is mark the middle of your zipper pocket, the front piece, the zipper, and the zipper top. You're going to lay your zipper lining up the middles right side down on top of this lower front exterior panel. And then we're going to sew that in place. And once we sew it in place, we are going to place the zipper pocket right side down on top of it, lining everything up. And we're going to stitch across that as well. Turn it and top stitch across the panel. And then we will bring the, the back of the pocket up to meet at the top of the zipper. We'll sew that in place and then sew the top down, fold it up and top stitch across that as well. We'll trim the sides and then add our, um, our contrasting exterior side panels on just as we did on the back. So I know this is a lot of steps. I'm going to walk through them sewing everything. So hopefully you can um, see what we're doing there. Now we're just going to baste our foam into place on both the front and the back exterior. So I just add a few clips and stitch around the edge, maybe about an eighth of an inch. I'm also going to note that because I am going to use the crossbody strap, I'm going to put my connectors in place. Now you want to mark um, them according to the pattern as to whether or not you want them on the top of your bag or on the side. So that's just kind of up to you, whether you want yours on the top or bottom and you want them facing down toward the pattern. Otherwise they will end up in the seam and not be on the outside of your bag. Okay, so I'm gonna tack this one in place and clip all of my pieces in place. And then I usually just rough cut my foam and stuff like that because it can all be trimmed after. It just makes it easier for me because then I have the pattern kind of as a template for cutting it perfectly. Notice that with putting them on the top of my bag, you're going to want them both on what looks like the right side for you because when you turn it, they are going to go from side to side to be your crossbody strap. Just a little note on that. So I'm going to finish 
clipping this in place and then I will baste around it. Okay, so now we have the exteriors all prepped and we're going to be working on the lining and to do that we need to get the lining pockets out and we need to mark the wrong side of one of the lining panels with the rectangle dimensions for the zipper pocket window and I also want to note that the pattern does share folding up the um, the lining the bottom lining of the pocket about a quarter of an inch to the wrong side this is because we're going to leave the pocket open for flipping the bag after finishing and so i have both sides flipped up and i have the one of the pocket panels pinned in place following the dimensions from the top of the bag to make the zipper pocket that we are going to set our zipper into so i'm going to sew around the marked box and then cut open along the middle line and up the sides of the triangle making sure I don't snip through any threads at the ends. So now that we have the zipper in place for the interior, we need to pin the other side of the zipper on, so right sides together, the zipper um, panel. And then we put some um, needles in, some pins in place to hold it in place, and we're going to stitch around the sides, the top, and the sides to close it. Remember, we're leaving the bottom open for flipping the bag later. Now, when we sew around the edge, you wanna make sure to pull the lining panel out of the way because you don't wanna stitch the pocket in place to the lining. Okay, so now it is time to prep the bag for finishing so the zipper is prepped i have it turned and i tacked it in place and what i'm gonna do is trim the zipper ends a little bit just for easier sewing i'll i'll trim off the rest later and i'm going to put this right side down in the middle of the top of the bag and we are going to stitch that in place. And then we will put the lining on, the lining that does not have um, the zipper pocket. We're going to put that right sides down and stitch across as well. Flip it all and then top stitch the top of the bag.
so we followed those same steps and got the back of the bag in place so now our zipper you can see how that'll work on the top of the bag and it's really coming together quite fast and it looks so cute i cannot wait to see it all finished so for finishing up the bag we are going to fold the exterior sides together and the lining sides together and so what we're going to do is stitch up the sides of the bag both sides the bottoms and then we're going to box the corners now remember we're leaving the interior zipper pocket open so that we can flip the bag and because of that we're going to want to make sure that that interior zipper is open because if we close it it could be pretty hard to open the bag so what i like to do first is i like to pin the corners of the bag and are the um you know the sides of the bag where the vinyl meets and the lining meets because you kind of want those to be pretty even or it'll be pretty noticeable later so you may not always get it perfect but you really want to get it close so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna sew the exterior portions with the vinyl on my industrial machine and i'm gonna sew the um, lining on my bernina just because it's a little bit easier honestly to sew um, just cotton materials on my um, on my Bernina so I'm gonna pin all this in place sew it box the corners and then we'll be able to flip the bag and sew up the interior pocket to finish it sunshine crossbody pouch and it is such an easy pattern to make I love it and one of the reasons it is so easy is because backstaff designs is perfect for getting any of your pattern for bags because man they just are so detailed I mean look at all this I don't always print them out I usually use like my phone or my iPad to look at the pattern as I work through it because there are so many pages. I don't necessarily think this is a bad thing because you get so many detailed pictures and that helps so much. So if you're concerned at all about getting a pattern that you can't find a walkthrough on, don't be because you get so many, so many, so many um, photos of each step. Um, I love their their patterns. I'm always looking on there for new patterns or patterns that I haven't done yet if I'm wanting to work on a project because I know I will be able to make the bag because they are so detailed. So if you do happen to have any questions, please feel free to comment below and ask about anything that you may be wondering about in the pattern. Um, I do want to say that I used vinyl on these um, accents on the side panels here. I got this glitter vinyl from SoSweetness.com as well as these cute zippers. Aren't they adorable? I love the little hearts on the pools. And then my fabric is from the Tula Pink line. So if you're wanting to make a bag similar, that is what I use to make this bag. All right, well, you guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye.